right now I'm going to reveal six things you never knew were making you tired. So I have to ask, anyone here want to help me out in the audience? How about you in the purple bus? Come on up here. What's your name? Marcella. Marcella. I'm gonna have you stand right here. I'm gonna open these nightstands. There's gonna okay. be something in them. I want you to guess what this has to do with your sleep. So nightstand okay. number one, everyone. Any ideas what I'm getting at with that? A light bulb, thinking too much, too many ideas. You can't process everything, so you stay up tossing and turning. That's certainly part of it. But okay. what, what this actually alludes to, bright lights in your bedroom. And not so much the lamp, mm -hmm. but TVs, electronics, computers. These things emit lights. And what it does is it suppresses oh. melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that you need to get a good restful night's sleep. When all these artificial lights are around, mm -hmm. we do not make enough melatonin. We don't sleep as well. Very tough to go to bed. So my secret oh. for you at home and Marcel for you, yes. a few hours before bed, get all the electronics out of the bedroom, shut down the computer. Mm -hmm. That eases you into this state where you're going to have a better night's sleep. That makes sense. Go ahead and open the second nightstand, Marcella. Okay. Noise. We fill our lives with so much noise nowadays. I mean, it's mm -hmm. constant noise. It's the TV blaring in the background. It's mm -hmm. secondary music, voices, loud noises. We never have a chance during the day for silence. That's true. And what I would recommend to you and anyone home is get all those loud noises out of the bedroom. If you want ambient noise, you can have a fan. There are a lot of things that will play ambient noise. That okay. can help you sleep. But loud noises, there's too much of it in our life. Okay. And door number Thank three. You. Door number three. Okay, some books and a little chair here. <laughs> I have that chair in there for a reason. And it's because most Americans spend the great majority of their lives sitting. Mm -hmm. And you know what that leads to? Poor posture. All the chairs that we tend to sit in nowadays, we have poor posture throughout the day. So what that means is you're actually going to be more fatigued at the end of the day. So watch your posture. Okay. Number four. Okay, four. Shopping, spending money, which leads to stress. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna be more specific. Okay. Cut your time off for online shopping at some point in the evening, because okay. if you shop all night long, you're not gonna sleep. These last two nightstands are a little bit different. Vitamin deficiencies, particularly in women, can lead to overall fatigue and feeling very tired. Vitamin D is actually one thing in particular that the CDC actually found that one in three people are vitamin D deficient. And that's a pretty high number because that can affect a lot of things going on in your body. But here's the good news. One bowl of healthy cereal with milk provides about 75% of your vitamin D levels for the day. Wow. And then. Here's another big thing. You see that back there? Yes. That's chili a beans. big bowl of chili. <laughs> and the reason I have that big bowl of chili is 16% of women are iron deficient. <laughs> if you're feeling fatigued all the time, you should go get tested by your doctor because okay. you could potentially be low in things like vitamin D or iron. And you get that figured out. And then all of a sudden, you have more energy and you actually sleep better at night. All right, so our very last number six tip. Okay. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Can everyone see what this is? Tell you what, put these gloves on for me. Okay. Are you willing to hold this? Sure. It's a heart. Really? That's a human heart. What happened to it? <laughs> and that, you know what, that leads to what's going on right here. When women and men are walking around all day long fatigued, this is a heart that went through heart failure. You see how much bigger it is than this heart? You know, this is a normal heart. It's about the size of a fist. This is about triple its size. This is someone who died of heart disease. Oh, wow. 70% of women, before they had their heart attack, the time leading up to it, 70% of women had unexplained fatigue. Less than half actually reported chest pain. Oh. So if you have overwhelming fatigue as a woman, you want to go talk to your doctor because there could be a very legitimate medical reason why you're feeling that way.